Hey, Alice. Hi, love. My mom is supposed to be in Denmark at the moment, but she's still stuck in LA. You want to tell me why? I think she's the perfect person to answer that. Really? Because I remember telling you to book her flight. Oops! Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. Honey, I've been so swamped at work. Gosh, this is a terrible mistake. Oh, of course. Work is more important than my mother. No, sweetheart. It's not like that at all. It totally escaped my mind. I wanted to book it yesterday, but the discounted option wasn't available, and today, I've been so swamped with work. You were waiting for a discounted option for my mom? Oh, yeah, it's just to save money. You know, we have so many expenses at the moment. And my mom has to bear the brunt of it? Seriously, sweetheart, you don't have to think that way. I love your mom, like mine. I wouldn't intentionally delay her flight. I just wanted a better option. And the better option is cutting costs for my mom. You know, she is sacrificing a lot being here. She can choose to stay in her place of abode, but she's coming here for us. Would you have booked a cheap flight for your mom? Oh, come on. It hasn't gotten to that. My parents are always responsible for their bills. Now my mom is a burden to you? You're making a fuss out of this thing. I mean, I am already on my computer trying to book the next available flight for your mom. That's medicine after death. You've been careless about things that concern me. How? You don't pay attention to me anymore. Just the other day, I asked you to get filet mignon steak, but you got the T-bone steak instead for me. Are you ready for this marriage? I feel insulted right now. Just because there was a mix-up in your order? You think I'm not ready to get married? I work very hard every day trying to make life easier for us. I'm so swamped doing so many things, and I still find time to run errands for you. You keep making excuses. You're not the first woman who was working. I know that, but I need your help. Two weeks ago, I asked you to fix the faucet for me, but you refused. I pay the bills. What else would you have me do? Don't I work? Stop it, Liam. A hundred dollars per week wage? You know that doesn't do much. You should give me some credit instead of always trying to blame me for every mistake. You should do better. Stop making silly excuses for your mistakes. You cannot make your work the center of your being. I'll take your advice if it will pay some of the bills for our wedding. You're so pathetic. Just book my mom's flight. You wicked bitch! What? I'm not sure you have the right person. Trust me, that's what you deserve. Why is that? I booked your flight already. By my time, you should be around Nano and I already arranged a driver for you. You made me go through hell. How so? Booking a crappy economy flight for me was the worst thing I could imagine you doing for me. You don't think I deserve better? I don't see anything wrong in this. That's what most people take. I am now most people? Dory, you do understand that we are planning our wedding and our budget is quite tight. It's a lot of money we're spending, so we might not be able to waste money. Now I'm a waste? Are you aware that I had to sacrifice my time to be here? I am very much aware of that and I appreciate you. But I couldn't do more than the economy. Maybe I will make it up to you next time. And you will have to learn the hard way. Hey, darling. The manager at the wedding venue just called me and said that he's expecting our payment. I thought you were supposed to pay that since last week. Oh, yeah. I had to spend the money on something more important. What is more important than the venue of our wedding? You know how competitive that spot is. We will always get another space. You're the one hellbent on aesthetics. We could just go home after the court wedding. I don't believe you're saying this, but what the hell did you spend the money on? Does it matter? Of course it does. We've been planning this wedding for six months, and now you suddenly have a better idea? Can you even have a wedding without a husband? What are you talking about? I'm not sure this is the time for you to deflect. I demand to know why you didn't pay that money. If you must know, my mother needed the money. Your what? 
What does she need $3,000 for? She needed it to shop. I'm not sure you want my mom coming to your wedding looking tattered. I remember that I got her a dress for the wedding and a pair of shoes as well. Isn't that good enough? She doesn't like them. That's her compensation for the inconvenience you put her through during her flight. What inconvenience? Come on, stop that nonsense. You made my mother board economy and she was jet lagged for days. I have apologized for that. So $3,000 is now compensation for that? That's our only condition for staying. Are you listening to yourself? I'm not begging anyone to say she can go back if that's what she wants. But using my wedding money, that's what I stepped on. We have to discuss these things. And you can't go around spending the money meant for our wedding. And if I don't listen to you, what will happen? You will find out later. You silly brat. What's happening? How could you call me a thief? Is that what Liam told you? You think you wouldn't tell me? I didn't in any way insinuate that you are a thief. He said he gave you the money meant to secure the venue for the wedding for shopping. And what is wrong with that? You want your mother to assign me at the wedding? It's not a competition. It's my wedding. Stop that nonsense. I saw what your mom wears. The engagement party was a testament. Yet you want me to wear those cheap clothes you bought for me? You should have told your son if you were not comfortable with the clothes. Of course, he's getting me new clothes, but you are making a fuss. It's still my money. Well, can you be? But then I'm certain Liam used your name as a cover. You will never do that to your prospective daughter-in-law. You called me a wicked person for just $3,000. I don't know what he's doing with a pauper. $3,000 isn't just, and I am not a pauper. If anyone is a pauper, that will be you and your son. I didn't get it any support from you or your son for the wedding. That's because you are desperate to marry. You think I'm desperate to marry your son? By all means, I have allowed love to blind me. Oh, <laughs> the young man is irresistible. I made a fine young man. But you forgot to teach the value of hard work. Did he tell you I pay all the bills? Imagine, you are here sulking over the little pennies you spend. There are many wealthy women who are willing to give him the world. Maybe it's high time he went after them. That's the plan. You can marry yourself. My son isn't interested in you. He's got another lady. I wonder why he's not bold enough to tell you yet. That guy cannot do without me. The joke is on you. The wedding is over. You cannot declare the wedding over. You're not Liam. <laughs> My voice is his. Alice. What's happening? I can't find my car keys. I've searched the whole house. Did you take them? They are hidden until I see my $3,000. What nonsense are you talking about? You thought I was joking when I said I won't let this slide. But you know I have an important appointment. Then help yourself get my money for me. How do I get $3,000 this morning? You should have thought of that before giving my money to your mother. Alice, please. I'm running late. Don't make me lose this opportunity. Grant me my money first. I've tolerated you and your mother's excuses for too long. As for your appointment, you can catch the train some hours later today. I missed my appointment, all thanks to you. Rest assured that I will get my pound of flesh. Oops, you should have just paid that money. You will regret this. Until I get my money, I don't think I'll regret anything. I'll be holding on to the car. We had a little fight and you went crying to mommy. Liam, you're ignoring me now? We'll get your mom in control. She's been shouting at the top of her lungs. She has threatened that the wedding isn't going to hold. I wonder if she's the one who decides that. You cannot keep ignoring me. If we ever need to go on this marital journey, 
then you should not ignore me. Liam, our wedding is in two weeks and you're still keeping malice with me? Okay, I accept that we can have a small gathering at my parents' garden after the court ceremony. Let's forget about the money. And what about the deal I lost? Oh, we both knew you would never have gotten that deal. Not when you didn't have the requirements. But I could have tried at least. It would have been good that I lost the deal because of something more important than lateness. Don't twist this around, Liam. You are not gonna die if you apologize. I was hurt by your actions towards me, but I had to let go. At least I returned to your car key and you still haven't refunded the money. You disrespected my mom. I wouldn't do that. I didn't mean to disrespect her. I am sorry. I'm telling you that I'm no longer interested in marriage. I've had enough time thinking about my life and I don't see you in it. I need a woman who can stand by me through thick and thin. I don't get you. So what have I been doing with you? It's not just about spending peanuts. Peanuts? What better way to explain thick and thin if not your life? So here's your official notice that I have moved on. What am I supposed to tell our family and friends? I'll handle my own family and friends, you handle yours. You can't do that to me. Don't reach out to me again. Liam, you can't be serious, are you? Of course, I am dead serious. Hey, Tanya posted a picture of Liam and someone who looked like you. I could bet it wasn't you. Hey, Alice. Oh, let me see the picture. It's me. You can't be serious. I know that's Liam, but I need to be sure that's you. You in full blood getting married to my fiance? Ex-boyfriend, you mean? He was mine until you took him. I'm trying to wrap my head around why you chose my man when you could have others. I can always have whatever I want in life. I needed Liam and I got him. With a friend like yours, who needs an enemy? I've never been your friend. Oh my gosh. In what world would I stoop low and become your friend? I've only known you for two years. I think you mistook my kindness for friendship. I don't believe you right now. Melanie, you were here when I complained about Liam. You were the one who told me to let him go. What have I done to deserve this? My darling, you'd have to accept your reality. Your man needed what I have and I gave it to him. And what is that? I hate to have to spell everything out for you. Isn't it obvious? I mean, I have money, something you're still struggling with. The man has his dreams that he could not achieve while you whine about every little tiny penny you spend. So he's come with the one who has money. Wow, this has got to be a dream come true for him. Of course, go lick your wounds somewhere else. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello to you too. Don't freaking mess with me. I don't know what you're talking about. I just saw a video of myself circulating the media. You have many videos making the rounds. Exactly which one are you talking about? Don't play with me. Let me guess. You're shocked that a secret of yours two years ago is blown into the limelight. That video was shared in confidence. And I kept it in confidence when I thought it was an honest mistake. But now I have seen how vile you are. It was just a joke. <laughs> if I hadn't advised you not to let that video out, you would have published it. That's how dumb you are. You shouldn't have messed with me this way. I'm sure that the internet is going crazy on how a woman who is an advocate for animal welfare just confessed to killing her neighbor's pets. There's no evidence to this. Then why are you in my DM? You know, this is gonna ruin my career. Oops, I didn't think too much. I learned that six brands have left you. Wait, the animal protection right is suing me? You just ruined my career. That's just the tip of the iceberg, you know. If I go down, you will definitely go down as well. A little bird told me you might even be taken to an asylum because only sick people behave that way. Stop being delusional. Did you orchestrate my sack? <laughs> what did you think? That I would let you go scot-free with that nonsense you tried? I cannot be sacked like that. I will take it up with the labor union. 
Didn't you read the basis for your sack? That's why I'm suing. I didn't even do anything. HR just told me my service was not needed anymore. And that's not even a good reason. What's not reasonable about your department being scrapped out of system and your services not being needed anymore? If you like yourself, you'll take that little money you were paid and spend it wisely. You should stock up your house with groceries because you'll be out of a job for a very long time. Hopefully you'll get a slot at the shelter home when your rent expires. You messed with the wrong person. You think because you and your uncle are rich, I can cower before you? You both will regret ever messing with me. Oh well, you're just a loser who wants to hold everyone ransom. My darling, go sulk somewhere else. Your parents owned a store. You could start working there as a cashier. You'd love that so much, right? How hard is it for you to move on? I have done that a long time ago. You should move on too. Wait, you think I'm still all about you? Please, stop the delusion. Then why are you tormenting my wife? I like that, your wife. I hope it's not too late for your eyes to open. Look, Liam, I am over you. Yes, it hurt me that you could betray me. She's facing trial for animal brutality. She sent you the video in confidence. You saw what she told you. Anyway, this is beyond revenge. Then what is this about? It's about taking the sick ones from the street. Maybe you're next. You both will have a taste of what it means to suffer. You've done enough already. You've even canceled my mother's insurance. That's enough revenge. I'm in a better place, and I can afford to pay for the best insurance policy for my mom. Don't think I will come back begging and groveling at your feet. Well, let's see. That won't happen within a short period. By the time I am done, you'd wish you didn't even meet me. You want to open a social media and throw a pity party? By all means, go on. Rest assured that only pity will follow. The world will forget, just as they have forgotten about your attempt to sabotage Melanie's career. You think so? Why, is your influencer wife pained? Did you see how many followers she lost? And a little bird told me she lost another endorsement deal. Besides the money she lost earlier. Oh, she didn't tell you? You guys keep secrets from each other? I hope you know everything about her. Of course I do. I know her favorite color is blue. What the heck are you even talking about? <laughs> he doesn't know. I think that will be a family problem to solve. He doesn't even know his woman. You're just lying. She's a woman of class who wouldn't do such. All right then. I'll leave you to figure it out one month later. How dare you? dare you? It's time I blocked you. What is wrong? You sabotage my deal. What deal? What the hell are you so pretentious about? Let's just say I learned from the best. What have I done this time? You told the Grand Commission not to give me the money. Oh, that happened a long time ago. It's been over a month. You've just got to know? You're so cruel. You know how much I have been wanting that money? I need the money badly. Oh, come on. You've got a wealthy wife. You shouldn't be so bothered. I need to make my own money. Then go make the money. You spoil my chances by telling the commission I cannot be trusted. How did you know that's what I said? I am sure that the commission didn't call you to tell you all that. Of course not. I have been worried that the grant didn't come through when a couple of people have received theirs. Melanie gave me a contact to reach out to. Wow. Oh, the perks of marrying an influential partner. I called and I was told my referee was contacted, and you, which jeopardized my chances. Well, I already told you that I was coming for you. You just didn't believe me. Oh, you shouldn't have messed with me this way. I needed this money. My mom's health is deteriorating and I need to pay her medical bills. That's none of my business. Well, it wouldn't be if you didn't make me lose that money. I needed to save the people. You had told me countless times that you'd use it to travel around the world. How can you use the money meant to help the underprivileged as a poverty alleviation scheme for yourself? How are you to judge me? I'm not judging. I'm just in pain because I should have requested the grant for myself since the idea was mine. I know you cannot be trusted with money and I told them the truth. You want to get half a million dollars for yourself? You better go to work. You will be dealt with, witch. Hey, 
Christina, a recycling project has already kicked off. I'm so excited to start a new phase and I applied for a grant. Seems you got the wrong contact here. Oops, sorry to bother you. I wanted to reach out to Christina. No need to apologize. The names are similar. You seem to have a great love for the name. I can't say congratulations are in order, right? You're mediocre. Because I'm doing an honest business? Will I get more money from my work than what you'll ever make in a lifetime? And that's why you couldn't take care of your man? Look, you don't have any business with my family, so leave me the hell alone and go back to packing dirt. Hey, Alice. Hello. What can I do for you? I'm just checking up on you. Excuse you? Since when did we start checking on each other? We might be exes, but it doesn't stop us from caring about each other. Spare me the stupid preamble. What do you want? I need your help. Aw, is there trouble in paradise? Of course not. <laughs> you think I don't know. Melanie announced her divorce last month, and you're here lying. I must say, you were really cruel to her. I didn't do anything to her. She was the one who filed for a divorce. I didn't even believe it at first. What? Why don't you check what she has on her Instagram? She blocked me on all her socials. That must have been bad. Well, she said you ran away with her money, and I kind of believe her. It's not far from you. No, I didn't. That wish used me. I shouldn't have left you, Alice. Well, you left. She didn't even live up to her end of the bargain. I didn't get a dime from that relationship. She just used me to get back her inheritance from her uncle. What are you talking about? The reason I agreed to marry her was because she told me that when her father died, everything was willed to her. But she was only to have them if she gets married. We were supposed to divide the money. Wow. Her uncle was supposed to be in charge of everything. She wanted to get everything. She didn't even give me all that was promised. Alice, I'm so sorry for hurting you. I regret it every day. Well, I don't regret it. I need your help. My mom's kidney has failed and we need a transplant. I just want you to help me raise the money. I believe we can achieve it. I should never have left you, babe. Don't you dare use that word for me. I am not your babe. Go and meet Melanie. That's your babe. Don't even try to call me. Alice, please. Liam's had a rough go of it lately. First, he lost his mom, and on top of that, he couldn't land a job anymore. He had to rely on charity just to put food on the table. Talk about tough luck. Then there's Melanie, who thought she hit the jackpot when she got her inheritance. But guess what? Her new man dumped her, leaving her high and dry. The guy even ran off with another lady. Talk about karma biting you in the rear. To make matters worse, Melanie's reputation as a brand influencer took a nosedive. Turns out she was promoting her sketchy man's business and a bunch of people got scammed. She ended up getting sued and sentenced to two years in the slammer. Life's been a real mess for her, no doubt about it. Right now, she's seeking solace in drugs and has been admitted to rehab. But as for me, well, I'm living my best life. I've become a consultant for social work all across the country. Recently, I even got some recognition for my hard work. And to top it off, I'm happily married to Andrew. He is the one who introduced me to the whole recycling gig. Sometimes I look back and I wish I didn't have to go through all the pain I endured. But then again, I realize it was just a necessary stepping stone on the path to the fulfilling life I'm living now.